In this video, I'm gonna share with you three new AI tools that you're probably not using in your Amazon business, but would make a very big impact if you did. And no, these are not ChatGPT, Midjourney, and Dolly. So the first new AI tool is Seller Central's Customer View Insights Beta. Now to access this tool, hover over growth and go to the Product Opportunity Explorer. And from here, there's really two ways that you can use this tool. You can use it on the category level or you can use it on the ASIN level. And what you're gonna be able to get are all the things that customers are saying about your niche or about certain products. And what you do with this information is you add it to your listing in your title, your bullet points, your description, your Q and A section, and most importantly, your product images. So let me show you the first way to use this. I'm gonna do it on the category level for our product, which is washable pee pads for dogs. Now, once I enter that into the search here, I'll see all these customer search terms and I already know that wash pee pads for dogs is our main search term that is most relevant for our product. So I'll click on it. And then coming down here, you'll see the customer review insights beta. Now, this is really cool because we did a video on this recently. Essentially, this is perfect for figuring out what customers are saying about your products, your competitors' products in the niche as a whole. And then you're basically gonna weaponize this in your listing. And before you had to download reviews manually, use ChatGPT to analyze them, and it was just a time sucker. But what this is doing, Amazon is essentially gathering all the positive reviews, all the negative reviews, and then weighing them. So in this example, in this niche, a lot of people love that these products are easy to clean, they're very absorbent, they have good quality, they're pet friendly, leak proof, and so on. But what they don't like is that at least 11% of these negative reviews are saying they're leak proof. So they're, they're not leak proof. There's a lot of leakage going on. They're very smelly for some reason. There's a water resistance. So basically with the leakage there, um, it's not easy to clean. It's not absorbent. It's very moist and dry. I know a lot of people don't like that word moist. Um, let me know in the comments if you dislike that word. But essentially this is perfect because now I can see what people are saying about my niche. And one more thing you can do is you can scroll down to the impact on star rating. So this is another way to visualize all of this feedback here. So basically the impact on star rating will tell me a lot of people love the fact that these are high quality, they like the size of it, the washability, but they dislike the most and what's causing them to leave negative reviews is that it leaks, it's not water resistance, which is basically the same thing. It's not thick and it smells. So with this information is head over to our listing and whether we're just starting on Amazon or we're trying to optimize our copy or our images, we would use that information in our images, in our titles, we would make sure that we're letting people know that our product is waterproof, it's what, not smelly, it doesn't leak. We would show that visually with images and in videos. So this is a treasure trove of data that you can use to weaponize in your product listing through the use of images, videos, and copy. Now, this is done on the category level, but one great thing that you can do here is actually do this for your competitors specifically or for your own products. So what I'm gonna do here is instead of search by keyword, I'm gonna search by ASIN. And for context, this is our product. So clicking here, I'll find my product. It will bounce me over to the same view, but this is all my product. So going to customer review insights, I can see data related to our product. And this is really fascinating. So people love the same things that they did on the category level, the absorbency, the ease of cleaning, it's pet friendly. But over here, I'm seeing people don't like that it's smelly, it's durable, they were used? Okay, that's not right. There's no way we shipped out pre-used pee pads. We gotta check in with that. But anyways, this is what we would use to go back and get, a, get in front of these sticking points. These are all sticking points here. So again, we'd wanna reiterate in our listing somewhere in the images, in the title, in the video, that our product meets these needs. It's thick, it doesn't leak, it's easy to use, it doesn't smell, it's definitely not used. And again, you wanna use these weaponized data points in your product listing on the category level, on the product level, and this is so much faster doing it this way as opposed to the ChatGPT method. Now, the second new AI tool is Jungle Scout's AI Assist. Using OpenAI, this is a feature within Jungle Scout's listing builder tool that helps you write optimized product listings with just the click of a button. On the back end, it's taking your top keywords and automatically generating a high-performing title, bullet points, and an expansive product description. And then as you edit, you can check how likely your listing is to rank and convert sales with Jungle Scout's AI-driven listing optimization score. Now, let me show you how this works in real time. So I have the tool open here, 
everything is blank. This tool is perfect if you're just starting out and you don't have any listing copy, or if you're trying to optimize your existing listings with the use of AI. Now, a lot of people for this, they're using ChatGPT. This speeds up that process and makes it a whole lot more impactful since you're using Amazon related keywords. So I've already loaded in my keywords using another general scout tool, our keyword scout tool. And I've selected that list here. You can select multiple lists if you'd like, but what I've done here is use our highly related keywords. These are keywords that are very specific to our product. And I'm gonna click that. It's about 72 distinct keywords that are loaded here in our keyword bank, which are sorted by the highest volume in green, the medium volume keywords in yellow or orange, and then our lowest volume keywords in gray here. And these are all sorted by search volume. So what I'm going to do here, AI Assist is right here. I'm gonna first type in our brand name, which is Jungle Creations, and then just give it a slight nudge in the right direction. So washable pee pads for dogs. And right away you can see that we're using, looks like six of our highest search volume keywords. And what I'm gonna do is just click AI Assist. It's gonna generate our product title. And then separately I can do the same thing to generate our features, which will do all five bullet points and then I could do the description as well, but let's see what the title is giving us here. General creations, washable pee pads for dogs, waterproof reusable incontinence protection pads, or mats for puppies, great. Okay, this is awesome. So what I'll do is I'll replace the content and we'll go from six to 16, that's awesome, used keywords. And as you can see over here in the right-hand corner, we have a generated search volume potential of 1.8 million, and we're already at 1.3 million with the use of AI. So we're using 16 used keywords and you can see slashed out here which ones are being used. It looks like we actually have our top three already crossed off, so that's great. But we're missing some like playpen, puppy, kennel, potty, so we'll probably get those included in our bullet points. But for now, I like this. I'm just gonna remove the, the period there. You will have to edit these with any AI tool. You need to do some work. You gotta put your human brain to work here. And from just looking at this, I like it. It's very clear. It's actually having our top keyword phrase at the beginning. And I can confirm that by excluding keywords from phrases. What this is gonna do is just show me all the phrases. So right here, I see washable pee pads for dogs at 47,000 monthly searches and open AI, AI assist, put that as our first keyword. So that's awesome that it's prioritized that. But I like to add keywords from phrases when I'm doing this because it essentially separates out the words. It's important to know your keyword phrases for context and also to include those in your, in your listing. But it's also great to see the individual words that make up those phrases, like we see here with rugs, pen, pads, box, and so on. So at this point, we use 16 keywords already. I'm gonna generate now bullet points one through five and see what it came up with. Okay, so what it's generated here, the first feature is calling out slip proof pen rugs and box mats. So, oh, so play pen. It's trying to put play pen in there. So that's that's good. We can replace that content and then just add in play pen. Maybe actually just make that one word here. And so again, you got to edit a little bit of this, but so far this is awesome. So our washable pee pads for dogs are designed with both slip proof uh, play pen rugs and box mats to provide extra protection and comfort. Great. Bullet number two is calling out the waterproof and reusable component of our pee pads making them perfect for use in crates, cages, play pens, and more. I love how it's using those different use cases because that's really big for SEO purposes. A lot of people will use our top keyword phrase, washable pee pads for dogs, but some people just specifically need it for their dog crates or their play pens. So they'll look up play pen mats or play pen dog mats. And this is helping us be indexed for in rank for those keywords. Bullet point number three, washable and durable. So really calling out the durable component here, I'd probably, when I replace this content, just heighten the durable component and edit that a little bit, but let's read. Each pet pad is crafted from a durable cloth material that is both washable and easy to clean. So that's that's great. In fact, actually I would keep that. So in the previous bullet point, we talked about waterproof and this one we're talking about washable. So machine washable, I could actually add there, um, which a lot of people I know will look for when they're looking for these pee pads. So bullet point number three is good. Bullet point number four is talking about perfect protection mats. Great, so another use case is to use these mats to protect against incontinence. Another one of our high performing or high volume keywords, uh, potty accidents, basically just potty training dogs. This is perfect for it. And I'm loving this bullet point. Bullet point number five is floor friendly pet mats. Okay, so it also features a non-slip design. Nice, okay. We didn't talk about that yet. I'd probably actually 
change this to like non-slip design um, so that way you don't have to read the rest of it to understand what the bullet point is talking about. And as with all of these features, a cool little pro tip within this tool is you can highlight anything and change it from all uppercase, you can change it to all lowercase or title case essentially, where the first word of each word is capitalized, which is what you do in the title. So I'm just gonna go through these real quick and make sure that the summary phrases here are all capitalized. Right, okay, so we have our title, we have our bullet points in a matter of like maybe three minutes, uh, don't quote me on that, and we're already at 1.5 million of our generated search volume out of 1.8 million. And so far our listing is graded a fair listing of five out of 10. Really what we need to do now is do our product description. This is the part I hate the most as a seller. Even if you have A plus content, it's important to generate a high quality product description that is SEO friendly. So if you're using A plus content images, you still need text underneath those images to index and rank for. And this is often what a lot of people are using ChatGPT to do is to generate this because it's just the, unless you're a writer, a creative writer, this is hard to generate. But as you can see in one click here, it's really talking to our customers in a friendly way that I probably couldn't have done myself. Welcome to Jungle Creations, washable pads for dogs. Our lightweight and reliable pads are the perfect way to keep your pup clean and happy. Great, so I'm gonna replace that content and see that it's added 22 keywords. And just by scanning this list here, I see a bunch of green in there and a little bit of yellow. This is awesome. So with that added in, I'm using a total, we can see at the bottom of this keyword bank, 29 total used keywords, which is great. And we've now bumped up to 1.5 to 1.6 million keywords used or search volume that we're eligible for. Our listing optimization score bumped from a five to six. All we need to do to really increase this to hopefully like an eight, nine or 10 to be a strong listing is to go through our bullet points. Right now what's happening is we want to be within 160 to 200 characters. That's what we recommend. So 160 characters minimum to help you index for more keywords and 200 max to make sure that your conversion rate isn't going to suffer. Because if you're having paragraphs on paragraphs, no one's going to read that. So a sweet point that Jungle Scout found is between 160 and 200. All we need to do is add a little bit to this. We could regenerate as well. My favorite part about this tool is just like ChatGPT, you can generate once keep some components, generate twice, add some components or replace, and keep going. So in this instance, I would just regenerate more and just add to each one. And then for our backend search terms, the last thing we need to do here is really scrub through our keyword bank here and include any keyword that's not already included. So kennel is one that I don't have in there. I would add kennel here, that checks off. And again, just scroll through this keyword bank and add in all the keywords that we're not using, that should give us a strong listing at the end of the day. And what I'm already seeing is we're at 1.7 out of 1.8. So as you can see, using this tool, AI Assist, will help you speed up creating optimized listings for your products. And it's going to include all your most valuable and impactful keywords. So I definitely recommend checking out. We'll put a link for you in the comment, pinned comment down below, as well as the description to learn more about AI Assist. Now the third new AI tool is Photoshop's Generative Fill. And this one's really exciting because it just came out. It's still in beta, but I wanna show you a very powerful use case for using AI generated images. And it's not going to be to generate the entire image. We have a full video on how to do that, but I wanna show you one of the most practical use cases of Photoshop's generative fill for editing for seasonality, or just trying to change up your main image or any image for that matter to increase your click-through rate and conversion rate. It's all about testing. And I wanna show you how to do this using a competitor's main image that I found just by browsing our main keyword. And you can see right here, it's this product here. And going back to Photoshop's generative fill, what I wanna do is show you an example of making seasonal adjustments to existing images using AI. Now for this image, let's say it's Christmas coming up. I want this picture to be Christmassy. I want people to know that this is a Christmas gift idea. So what I wanna do is just modify this image. They have two cute, obviously Photoshop dogs in their main image, but I'm going to use the lasso tool here, which you can just select up here, select lasso tool and draw an area above the head. And with generative fill, click here and type in my prompt, just like you would with ChatGPT. I'm gonna say, add a Christmas hat and see what comes up here. Okay, so it added a Christmas hat and I can actually just scan through and see these 
ones here that are not looking that good. So let me do another generation. Oftentimes this happens, you need to keep generating or change your lasso selection. So maybe I've actually just used the lasso too high and I should have brought it down a little bit. But let's see a second generation if it will be more realistic. It's not bad, but it's definitely not realistic just like the dogs in this photo. So, okay, actually that one's pretty good in the third image. Okay, so I really like this one. It looks good, especially where most people are gonna see this, it's gonna look like this. It's gonna look a lot smaller on screen. But we got that done with just a few simple words and two generations. Let's do the same thing on this cute golden retriever. Um, but this time maybe say um, add reindeer antlers. Okay, so clicking generate now. Hopefully you're seeing just how easy this is to generate or make modifications to your existing images. Of course, again, you could generate whole images themselves by selecting a bigger layer. And it actually put a reindeer in there. Okay, that's what we're looking for. Um, and then this one's way more realistic. Okay, I could play around with this more, but what I love is we just slightly tweaked this main image using Photoshop's generative fill and they're all in separate layers. So we don't have to worry about re-editing this or messing this photo up, the source photo. I can simply just hide these if I wanted to and stick with our main image or go back to the drawing board and change it up completely. But this was, this first layer here was the, or the second layer here was the reindeer antlers. I can just call that antlers. And for the second layer here, that was the Christmas hat. I can just call that hat, maybe V1, V2, and just keep testing these. But this is one way to optimize the main image, which is the most impactful image on your listing to drive clicks and hopefully conversions to your product. But now I wanna show you another example using our own product image that we have on our listing. I'll show you that here. It's this image right here on one of our bigger variations. So we took this image very quickly. It's showing the size of the product in our office here. But like our examples, our competitors, we don't have actual dogs on here or Photoshop dogs for that matter. So let's do that. Using the lasso tool again, I'm gonna select an area on the mat. The selection is key. You wanna make sure you're not, you're doing it to scale. You wanna test this a little bit, but I'm gonna add a prompt of, add a, um, a golden retriever puppy to the mat. And let's see what it comes up with. Okay, it's generating. And what's amazing, it's doing this really, really fast. And holy crap. Okay, so that's a really good image. Like if you, of course, zoomed in all the way, you could probably see it's Photoshop, but wow, that, I like this first generation, this is really cool. So let's just see just what the second one is. Okay, that's good, but it's a little more fake. Number three is pretty good as well. I like how his head is a little sunken in there. Um, but to be honest with you, number one is really strong and it's showing the actual size. So I chose a, a, a puppy just so I didn't have a really big dog. It might like overtake the image and not be true to size. But this is really accurate. You do gotta be careful that you're you know, not making things seem smaller or bigger. Like in this example, I don't want it to be unrealistic and someone receives the product and they thought their golden retriever could fit on it, but it doesn't, or it's just too small. But in this case, I really like this. Um, another quick thing that you could do here, and this doesn't matter, but like you see this plant in the background, it's, it is dying. If we wanted to make this office feel more like a home, we could change a lot of things to spruce it up a little bit. So here I just could add, um, add a uh, house plant and see what it comes up with. And I can keep doing this for all these areas of the house or of the office and make it look more like a house. Um, just to really bring this into the lifestyle that we're trying to, to show here of our target audience. And of course this looks a little fake. That one's not bad. Um, but again, what we could do is because it's on a different layer, we can lower things like the saturation and all that to make this blend in a lot better. This is all done in real time. We didn't cut anything here. You're seeing just how fast you can use this tool, Photoshop, which you might already be using to edit your images or maybe you're just using other Adobe tools, but using the Adobe Photoshop beta, this is a very powerful way to optimize your images with the use of generative fill. Now, this is just one way and one tool that can help you edit your existing images. But if you don't have any images or you wanna create new images from complete scratch, there's a bunch of other tools that we teach you how to use in this next video. We'll show you all the prompts that we use to generate the images you see on screen here. And yes, all of these images were generated using AI tools outside of just Adobe Photoshop. So make sure to watch this next video to learn all the prompts and all the ways to use these tools together to create optimized product images.